good evening and welcome. Right, uh, welcome to another exciting three minutes ish with 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 different bloke. Uh, right, subject of tonight is my top three ever UFO cases. Uh, now, I'll probably do them later on, but I'm going to run down because they are very famous. And uh, if I get a, some input, I'll, I'll go into more depth in them. First one is, in third place, is the Rendlesham Forest UFO. Uh, that's actually in the UK. Uh, and that a, a very quick rundown was a UFO landed outside a, a, a RAF base. Now, uh, the RAF base is shared by the Americans as well. I think it's mainly American. So they sent out some people to find and look for this UFO that was spotted. They did look for it. They did find it. Uh, they didn't capture it. Uh, but there's a lot of witnesses to it, a lot, quite, quite a bit of evidence to it. Uh, but still a great mystery as well. So that was my top, that was my third choice. My second choice is still ongoing. It's the Skinwalker Ranch in America. Skinwalker Ranch, lots of weird and wonderful things going on. There's an entire series about it, apparently. Uh, and, and that's where I've been watching. I've been watching them now and again uh, to actually find out what's going on there. They do really strange things. And I'm not convinced one way or the other, but it's drawing me back. So that is my second one because I don't know what ex whether it's true or false. And the first one, unfortunately, you're all going to go, ew, ew, ew. we know what it is. Yes, it's Roswell. Now, the reason why Roswell came in one, in it's the first one, is not the fact that they got something or anything like that. It's the fact that on the first day that it was sighted and, and, and this crash happened and everything, the actual Air Force said they'd captured a UFO. It was 24 hours later they spoke, spoke to the newspapers and said that they'd changed their minds and it was a weather balloon. I, the first thing that for me is the fact that they said, we've got one. Uh, and then all these years later, it was only less than a month ago that they said, yes, we've got UFOs. Um, so from that side, I think that was probably the one that stuck in everyone's mind and the one that actually might be truthful. So that's my first one. Now, for those conspiracy people out there, I've got a really good one for you this week. Uh, I want you to, if you've got Alexa, I want you to go to Alexa and you're going to love this. When you go to Alexa, ask Alexa if there is a plan to depopulate the planet by 95%. By the year 2030. Just say it like that. See the result. You're going to be shocked and stunned. Uh, so hopefully I'll find some more like this for you in the future. All right. Hope you've had a lovely night. Catch me again soon. Subscribe. Three minutes. That's all I try to take out of your day to make something interesting happen. Okay. Take it easy. Ta-ta for now.